It paid tribute to Lexington's horse racing heritage, but tonight a large mural on the side of a building has disappeared, and it turns out the mural was accidentally wiped away. Now many in the art community are seeing red. Rebecca Smith tells us how it all happened. I think art is this very, very powerful medium. Along North Limestone in Lexington is a warehouse that boasts some pretty colorful walls. The facade includes this piece of art, but on the side of the building are the remains of another scene that's been here for two years until now. Yeah, I'm to blame. So I reached out to the artist. John and Jessica reached out to the artist. Uh, Odith, uh, who's from Portugal and travels all around the world to do these murals. Um, expressed that he was willing to come back in, that he loved Lexington. His work is now the victim of a very strong power wash. This is what the mural used to look like, a nod to Lexington's rich horse racing industry. So this is all that remains of the mural. You can see pretty much half of it is just gone. Now Griffin says while this on the surface is a bad thing, he hopes that in the end it's positive and it, it gets attention from the community of what they're trying to do in the art world to bring attention to this street art. You know, art goes up, art can disappear. Uh, it's a shame when that happens on, on murals that are, are officially sanctioned, like this was an officially sanctioned mural that was paid for. John Winters heads up a group called Prohibition that helped commission the work. He says he's disappointed to see it destroyed, but he also says it's cool to see that these things matter so much to people. In Lexington, Rebecca Smith, WKYT. Well, this isn't the first time a mural has been accidentally painted over. Typically, the works of art are only supposed to stay up for a couple of years. Winters says getting contracts with building owners on a permanent basis is not the purpose of their efforts.